And welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friend of Mineral Town. Alright, so off screen I basically uh, made it down here to level 60 of the Spring Mine. Because this is where... And welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friend of Mineral Town. Alright, so in between episodes I basically made it down here to floor 60 of the Spring Mine. Uh, basically, this is where we can start fighting Mythic Ore. So, Mythic Ore won't start spawning until all six of your tools are basically blessed. So, let's see if we can find some. But, yeah, Mythic Ore is really hard to find. And welcome- okay, no, we're not doing this again. Alright, let's see if we can just find some Mythic Ore without falling down some pitfalls. Actually, you know what? Let me just quickly mark these. Alright, so like I was saying, Mythic Ore spawns after you get- oh, oh my god! Okay, so Mythic Ore spawns once you get all six tools to Blessed level. One second. Alright. Pitfall- oh. Pitfall. 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 Okay. So let's see if we can find some. So it only appears on like very specific floors, like floor 60, I think it's 60, 102, 123, and then some other floors after that. It's really weird how it's only on certain floors. Also it's relatively rare, oh wait, there it is. Okay, like I was saying, it is relatively rare, so there's a chance that we might not be able to get all of them on this floor. Let's at least try. Also, I'm just gonna save every couple of steps. I kinda wanna just play the safe. So I need six pieces of Mythic Ore if I wanna upgrade all my tools. Which I kinda wanna do by the end of the game. So hopefully we'll get lucky and- oh hey! I also found the Goddess Jewel. So one of these basically spawns on every floor that Mythic Ore spawns in. If we can get all nine of them, I think we get a... I think we get like a charm that lets us regen stamina. It's not really worth it to be honest. The problem with it is that it only works outdoors when time is passing, which at that point, food is kind of better. Speaking of food, let's also make sure we're... Let's also make sure we're nice and fed. Also, yes, I hate pitfalls right now. Don't worry about it. We'll get through this floor eventually. Also, I'm not done with this dun or dungeon. I'm not done with this uh, mine yet, by the way. Basically, what I also want to do is I want to see if I can get down to level 100. Because level 100 is where you can get the Power Berry in the Spring Mine. I was thinking 255 in the Winter No, wait, no, no, wait. No, it's not 255 in either mine. It's uh, 100 in the Spring Mine where you can get the Power Berry. So we'll see if we can grab that at some point. Oh, also, yeah, I need to feed myself. Alright, so here's hoping that we can get at least, like, five more pieces of Mythic Ore here. I don't know if we'll be able to, though. It is- oh my god, I hate this. It's pretty rare. I'm honestly okay with only getting a couple pieces. Like, I don't need to upgrade all of my tools to a uh, mythic level. It would be really, really nice, though. Also, you know what? I'm just gonna try to stick to the places where I broke rocks. Because that is one little trick I'm pretty sure works. Like, pitfalls will not spawn under rocks. Oh, hey! Wait. Oh, wait, no, I didn't get it on this file, right? So basically, as long as we stick to, like, where rocks are, I think we'll be safe from pitfalls. I might be completely wrong on this, by the way. This is just something I've noticed. Also, I have a lot of junk I need to sell. Is this, uh, okay, it's Oricalcum. I guess I do need some more calcum. Uh, doesn't look good for more Mythic Ore, though. I forget if Mythic Ore... I, uh, I forget if more than one piece of Mythic Ore spawns on each floor. I've only, like, tried to get the Mythic Ore once or twice in any of my playthroughs, so... Huh. If I don't find anything, um... We might just reload that file and try to go deeper. Because I know I want I can at least get to floor, like, 102. Actually, honestly, 102 is the easiest place to get ore. 
Simply due to the fact that you can just take the elevator down to floor 100 and then just go down two floors. In fact, you know what? That might be the play here. Because, yeah, now that we have the elevator unlocked, getting Mythic Ore is actually really easy compared to the original game. Because, yeah, I didn't think about that. In fact, you know what? Screw. Okay, that only brought me down one floor. One minute. You know what? We might just go down at this point. I kind of don't want to stick around this floor too. I'll grab the Goddess Orb. But I don't want to stick around the. Okay, never mind. Apparently, all the uh, Mythic Ore was down here. One second. Let's at least try to get a couple pieces before going down. But if I don't find all six pieces today, that's... that's fine. In fact, if I fall down another pitfall, we're just gonna take it. After this point, I'm actually okay with falling down pitfalls. I just want to try to get down to floor 100 as soon as possible. In fact, maybe we'll just try to purposely fall down pitfalls after this. And try to get lucky. Uh, let me see if I can find another one real quick. It also takes like a week to upgrade your tools from Mithril to Mythic, so... We're not in a huge rush to get all six pieces right now. And it looks like we might not be getting any more ore at this point. Well, no, we still have like half the floor to go through. But yeah, I want to see if I can get down to level 100 by the... Or was it? I want to see if I can get down to level 100. Because I want that power berry. Actually, I'm pretty sure if we get down to level 100 and we don't find it, we can just leave and come back via the elevator. Okay, we're starting to overlap where we were before. I don't think there's any more uh, mythic or... Well, uh, the only problem is I can't really say that without going through every single rock. And I'm pretty sure ore is random. Actually, is ore randomized in this game? Like, what ore will come out when you break what rock? It might be. Also, I'm... Eh, I don't know if I'm even going to keep any of this ore. The problem with ore is it doesn't really sell for very much. Except for Mythic Ore. Mythic Ore sells for like 20,000 because of how rare it is. Okay, you know what? I think it will be better just to grind on level 102. Let's get out of here. If I get out of here, I mean, let's go down. Let's just keep going down. In fact, you know what? Oh, that's not the pitfall I was aiming for, but that works. Let's just keep going down until I can... Uh, let's find a better pitfall. Let's keep going down until I run out of pitfalls. And then we'll start digging. Also, I do want to keep my stamina up. The problem with my st er, the problem with pitfalls is that they do drain fatigue and stamina. Okay, give me a good pitfall, please. I want to go down more than one floor. I want to make sure I at least have a bunch of stamina ready. Just in case. Also, yeah, I'm pretty sure pitfalls are randomized, because... Okay, maybe they're not randomized. I could have sworn they were, because I kept falling down one pitfall coming down here, and it kept, like... Give me different results. Let's try a dip, or let's try to maybe manipulate the RNG a bit. Let me see if that did anything. Okay, apparently not. One more try. If this doesn't work, I'll just do the rest off screen. Okay, what if I, like, take this pitfall? Will it be any different? Okay, you know what? Screw it. Any more pitfalls I can use? I'll take the one. There's no pitfalls on this floor. But yeah, this is basically me trying to get down on floor 60 in a non insanity inducing amount of time. It kind of worked. Alright. So yeah, I think I'm going to be doing the rest of this off screen. This might take like 10 minutes or it might take an hour. Oh, there we go. Oh god, one minute. I forgot to eat before going down there. Alright, not bad. Let's keep going. So big floors are usually the best floors for finding pitfalls in. Well, quote unquote best floors for finding pitfalls in. 
Because they're usually in the big floors, like, a bunch of pitfalls will spawn all over the floor. Like, usually the smaller floors like this one will only have, like, one or two pitfalls, if any. Alright, let's see if we find the stairs. Yeah, you know what? We're doing a pretty good time here. Uh, it's the safe file, right? Alright, let's see if we can find the stairs. So this has been my pattern trying to get down here. I usually try to just run around the floor like a crazy person looking for the pitfall. If I can't find it, then I'll try to look for stairs. Oh, found a pitfall. Okay, that works. Oh, do I need to eat? I need to eat. Also, what floor are we on? 73. Fortunately, there is one saving grace for the spring mine. There is no pitfalls on floor 100. So we will be safe there. While we're looking for the power berry. Oh, crap. Uh, one second. I fell down too many floors. Crap, uh... We do have white grass. Oh, you know what? Blue grass helps. That'll give me a little bit of fatigue, and we can eat some white grass to help out, too. Yeah, let's just make sure we keep our stamina high while we're going down pitfalls. I think as long as we're over, like... 80, we should be okay. It would suck if I passed out down here because I fell too far. I probably should have bought some medicine before coming down here to help with the fatigue. I was a bit too worried about the stamina. I was more worried about the stamina drain than the fatigue drain. Mostly because I'm not really used to how damaging the pitfalls are in this game. Alright, we're almost there though. That being said, I am really glad that pitfalls are a th Well, sometimes I'm really glad that pitfalls are a thing, when I'm not falling down them over and over again. Uh, we're definitely gonna need to eat something out once we're out of here. Honestly, maybe I should have, like, made some drinks. Usually drinks are what give you, uh, fatigue restoration in this game. Or just straight up, like, medicine. I should have just bought a couple of turbo jolts before coming down here. Alright, we're almost there, though. Ten more floors. We got this. Just gonna save here, though, just in case. Actually, I could also just down a bunch of honey. Actually, no, I don't think honey helps. Does it? Nope, it does not help with fatigue. Also, come on, game. Give me a pitfall. The only problem with pitfalls I see happening is maybe accidentally overshooting level 100. But like I said before, actually no, that's not even an issue anymore, is it? That's not really an issue, because we have the elevator now. Thank god for that elevator. Alright, we have five more floors to go down. This took a lot less time than I thought. Like I said, it can either take like 10 minutes or an hour. There is no in-between. Actually, wait, before we keep going down... Gotta remember to keep my stamina up. Like I said, don't want to knock myself out accidentally. Actually, do pitfalls stop appearing on this floor? Because I know there are certain... Actually, wait, no, I don't think there are any more pitfalls we can use. I think we have to actually go down manually now. Because, yeah, I remember in the 90s, pitfalls stop appearing in the spring mine. For a little while, at least. Alright, guess we're, uh... Doing this the old-fashioned way. Man, I really wish you could charge up your tools in the mines. That would make things so much easier, but I guess they want to at least keep it somewhat balanced. So you can't just stand on one side, use your maxed out, like, charged hoe, and just kill every single square in the mine. But it would be so much fun if we could. It would make us actually feel, like, powerful. Well, quote-unquote powerful. It's a farming game. It's not really about a power fantasy. Well, it could be. Oh, there it is. That's, uh, how far is that? Alright, that's not too far. Also, I miss music. I've been down here for, like, I don't know, an hour getting down here. I already miss music. Oh god, this more sucks. Well... Maybe we'll get lucky. We only have four floors to go. We are almost there. 
And unlucky. Great. But yeah, to be honest, this is actually better than trying to find the cursed tools. In that one, we basically had to stay on one floor forever. In this one, at least we're, like, making forward progress. Like, at all times. We're not going to be stuck on any one floor. Well, for the most part. Well, at least until we reach a level 100, like I said. I forgot to save before coming down. Actually, it doesn't matter. Not that file. I need to get to stop going up. That's not like my old, old file. The one I've been using for, like, testing and stuff. Uh, no. Okay. Let's keep checking to the room, to the left, I guess. I almost said right. There's nothing to the right. Well, I guess there are some squares over there. Oh, am I low on stamina again? Uh, yeah, I am. We're getting a bit low on Udon. We might have to leave the mine soon. Oh, there it is. But yeah, this is basically what it was like trying to get the curse tools, by the way. Except worse, because I had to stop on every 10 floors to dig for an hour. Alright. Two more floors, we've got this. Uh, let's see. Oh, right, I need to keep eating. I forgot, I didn't eat, or I didn't uh, say eat before I saved. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Alright, is there any place I didn't dig over here yet? That stairs could be? Nope. Like I said before, stairs will never spawn next to the current stairs. I guess it's ladders in this game. I'm just so used to them being stairs. Kind of like how I'm used to calling the harvest sprites the harvest sprites, but... The ladder will not spawn next to the up ladder, and it won't spawn at the edges of the room. This, uh... These stairs might actually be under a rock. Yeah, they're under- oh, they might be over here, actually. Also, I need to reorganize my inventory to make it a bit faster. Are they here? There they are! Yeah, they were under a rock. Gotta love it when that happens. I really wish that the music kept playing down here, though, if you put something on the record player. Also, I don't even know why I'm saving in the second slot anymore. We don't really need it in this game. It was required in the original game because you could get dead-end floors. In this game, you can't get dead-end floors, so we're pretty much safe. Well, unless you're trying to avoid pitfalls, then I would definitely advise saving before you go down. Because it is entirely possible for you to fall down a pitfall immediately if you take a step forward. Because as we've seen, pitfalls can and will spawn right next to the stairs. Also, I don't know why the coin sound effect is so much louder than anything else. You know what? I'm just gonna go down. Let's do this. Let's see if we can find this, uh, power berry. Alright. So who's ready to dig? Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and find it, like, right now. Oh, wait, what? I was joking. Uh... I swear to god that wasn't planned. Well then. I'm saving that. Alright, so we found the power berry. Do we want to leave now? You know what, while we're down here, let's see if we can just get those, uh... What is it? Let's see if we can get down two more floors and get that power... Or not the power berry. Get the... some more mythic ore. That being said, we're leaving as soon as we can. We can always come down here via elevator, like I said. But yeah, I have no idea why the coin sound effect is so much louder than anything else in the game. I don't want this. Actually, I might want this. I don't want this. Okay, 
Okay, here they are. All right, let's see if we can get some, ourselves some more Mythicor, and then we're getting out of here. We could go all the way down to level 255, but I don't think there's actually anything down on floor 255. In either mine, actually, now that I think about it. Unless we want to try to collect all the goddess orbs, which I don't. Let's try one more time. If I fall down another pitfall, we're just leaving. Oh, whoops. Actually, wait, let's just keep following the path of rocks. You know what? I'm gonna keep going until I either A, fall down another pitfall, or B, run out of curry. Hmm. We're getting plenty of ore, which I'm probably just gonna end up selling at this point. I don't really need any of this ore. We're done upgrading our tools. I guess we still need to make, a, what is it, the yarn maker? But other than that, yeah, there's not really a need for ore anymore. Also, ore calcum is used to not make uh, makers. It's used to make jewelry, isn't it? Yeah, adamantite is used for ore. Or for uh, makers. Yeah, we're just going to sell all this stuff. I don't need any... Well, I'll keep some adamantite. Actually, I think I already have enough adamantite. Also, I don't think we're going to be finding any mythic ore right now. Kind of surprised we haven't fallen down another pitfall yet, though. Oh, there's the uh, goddess ore. I'll t oh, there's a mythic ore. Nice. Okay, you know what? We're leaving. I'll come back down if I need more mythic ore. Let's just go. Oh my god. But yeah, we can now start from floor, uh, floor 100. Alright, so we came out of that pretty well. We got ourselves some nice pieces of mythic ore, got ourselves another power berry, and now I'm never going back in there for another, like, month. Let's go sell what we can. Oh, right, I also still need to plant a bunch of things, don't I? One minute. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell all this stuff. Screw it. Not the mythic ore, but I'm gonna sell everything else. I can always go down for more. Wow, that barely sells for anything, does it? Doesn't it? Alright, let us let me just quickly put this away so I don't accidentally sell it. Oh, wait, I don't have enough Andamantite. Well, I can just go back down there and grab some later. That's the beauty of the elevator. Alright, so I have some oops, I have some uh, potato seeds I can plant. Or sorry, I have some turnip seeds I can plant. How are we doing in terms of room? Oh, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Aqua here is the slow harvester compared to the other one. Uh, Mint. Mint is a lot quicker in terms of harvesting. But it's fine. So yeah, what tool do I want to upgrade first? Watering can. I want to upgrade the watering can so I can water my entire field in a single go. Okay, it's not that powerful, but it's pretty absurdly powerful. Here, I'm just going to grab the rest myself so I can just uh, plant some turnips tonight. The only problem is I don't have enough money to upgrade yet. Actually, I need to go double check how much money it costs. I'm pretty sure it's 30,000, but I might be wrong. There we go. Alright, let's get some turnips down. Yeah, I bought way too many seeds. That's fine. Ah, still uneven. It's fine. Everything will even itself out in the end. Hopefully. Is there anywhere I can plant a 3x3 without wasting seeds? Not really. Alright, we'll plant that later then. Alright, time for bed. Cliff isn't home yet, huh? Actually, wait, hold on a second. Where is Cliff? Is he uh, still on his way home? There he is. Here, you want some dinner? I have some, uh, old curry udon. 
I ate like 17 bowls of it today. Alright, I think it's time for bed though. And with that, I would think we're also going to end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Store- Actually, why did I turn that off? Turn that on for now. So, next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. I got to the 104 in a mine. Thank you. But no, next time, my cucumbers are done. Great. I have a party to go to, though. <laughs>